Hello everyone and welcome back to Hogwarts Mystery. In the last one, I talked about the dueling and I got this fine little sweater. I would say it is a sweater, right? Some some of the sort. And you guys actually answered me back in the comments below. So especially one comment about what this shirt was actually referenced to. And it was the Chutley Cannons, which is a Quidditch team. With one apparently about... 21 matches or so. I went to Google it afterwards. And this is one of the amazing things about doing games like this, especially if you are not a proclaimed Potterhead. I'm more of a Potter Sprite. Sprout, like, Sprout? No, basically nothing other than like the basic stuff. And then it's really fascinating to hear from you guys and hear the extra additional information that you guys also sometimes give me in the comments below, which is so fantastic. And now I know what this shirt means, and it also means that I was half right in what it was about. <laughs> it was a Quidditch shirt. However, we actually have a new, again, a new um, event. Suddenly it feels a lot like Village Life, I must say, with all those events to keep up with. Um, especially in a period of time. And you. Let's see here. Um, I actually, as you can see, I have seen the whole outfit and I actually love this outfit. I love its reference to slight notch to Egypt with the little um, pin in the, in the, is it the coat or is it a, I can't see if it's a part of the coat or it's just a cape or something. Hmm. Anywho, the, the little the little pen there has a slight notch to Egypt, which is something I've been very fascinated about, and I have studied as well uh, Egyptian religions and symbols and such, which is was so fascinating. Anywho, um, as you can see, there's not much to it. It's just another class one where you go in having some class, and then you get an awesome outfit in, uh, out of this. And I will actually look forward to getting this, because it, I'm pretty sure that's going to be my base outfit, because I actually love this one a lot. Uh, but first off, we will be ending off the... I actually don't know if we'll be ending off the Quidditch thing today. <laughs> but we can go to the dungeons. Oh yeah, I also took some classes out um, on the side, so we can now also do the fast laps uh, classroom, if, if we have time for that. Because I'm rambling again. Because I'm still tired. <laughs> Anywho, um, we can meet with Rowan, and I have purposefully not gone into the dungeons because I have a feeling, I don't know, but I'm so fearful of the pop out in the hallway um, cutscenes. And you don't know what you do with those. Like, you go like, oh, I'm gonna scramble and find everything. Oh, it was a cutscene. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm so happy I didn't go there. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Robin says I look nervous. Yes, I was actually nervous that, that I would have gone here and then gotten the cutscene and then had to scribble everything together, especially when I wasn't home. And oh, goodness gracious, that would have been. That would have been a doozy. Anyway. You look almost as nervous as me, Ray. Oh, well, you're going to sneak in now. Oh! <gasps> I thought it was just like, okay, here's the final thing. Are we ready for tonight? Oh, wait. We're ready for the the, for, uh, the match, and then we'll go in. I didn't know we were actually going to do it now. <gasps> this is going to be so exciting. What is this going to be about? <laughs> <laughs> Did you take care of the Slytherin, Slytherin Prefect? I tricked him into staying in the match until it ends. We'll be gone, for, we'll be gone long before then. Very cunning. <laughs> you should have been Slytherin. <laughs> oh, she actually says it. <laughs> Very cunning, Ray. I'm starting to think the Sorting Hat may have been wrong about you. No, I'm a Hufflepuffle of heart, even though I'm a, I am 49% Slytherin, according to a very old poll we took or test. These, these, uh. Personality trait test that sorts you into some house that you took like seven or eight years ago. <laughs> and I can still remember it because I was laughing so hard because I was so sure I was gonna get stuttering and then I got Hufflepuff. 
<laughs> so this is also something it's playing on fun of because then I actually started getting Hufflepuff things even though I'm not a big fan of yellow at all. But I have a Hufflepuff pin, come mark, everything now, <laughs> which is funny. Anyway, this is our last chance to change your mind. Oh, your last chance to change your mind. Are you sure you're ready? I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm gonna break in somewhere which we don't really know what's gonna go on. And we don't e I don't even know how it looks in this game. I think I've seen some pictures of it, but that doesn't add up to what it actually looks like when you sneak into places. Um, and I'm wondering if we're going to sneak into every common room? At some point? I don't know. They're like, how could I be? Oh, should we change our mind and just walk away? No, this is for Ben! We need to do this for Ben! It's for Ben! <laughs> I have studied and have practiced these spells. I'm ready. Were you doing this for Ben? <laughs> Good luck, Ray. If anyone can do this, it's you. I don't think about it until now, but I don't even know what room, what the room looks like. No! Neither do I, which I just mentioned a couple of seconds before. <laughs> How would I know where to research for, uh, search for the quill? Oh. Shh! Here they come! <laughs> oh, they're, they're Slytherins. I do still like, like, the, the, the other thing is that my favorite color is green. And that's the Slytherin color. Like, my favorite colors uh, combination is actually silver and green. And that's the Slytherin colors. <laughs> so, oh my. Um, who has the Confutus? Oh, Confusion Charm, I'm guessing? Confundus. Confundus, I guess. Um, until I study it. Confundus Charm prepared. We're going to cross those Gryffindor goons. Now this is an interesting perception. It's interesting to see the different fractions against each other, or rather houses in this case. Um, how they look at each other, because of course Gryffindors, which we have been following through the whole movie set. And how they look at the Slytherins as the goons, and here we have the Slytherin calling Gryffindor the goons. So there is a them and us mentality going around, and there might be multiple, like... Uh, there, there, mu there must be multiple examples of why they really see each other that way. It, it's truly fascinating, and especially because I've been studying psychology, so it, it's it's really focal in many ways. It's it's a really us and them mentality. Um, in modern days, we would probably call it group mentality or identity, where one group identifies them as a whole. It's becoming more and more intriguing to play this game in so many ways. Quick, cast reduce you and sneak inside before the door closes. Hurst then watch and make sure no one walks in on you. Go, go! Well, we will be using math. Yeah, we'll be smaller than... Uh, so, uh, well, we will be smaller than Rowan, so we will take that math into consideration. So we will be smaller than Rowan. <laughs> this is so weird. I can't believe it actually worked. I mean, of course it worked. <laughs> it was a well-formulated plan, and you're an amazing witch. Which, in olden times, will not have been a very good sentence to say to a person, because then you would probably either be hanged or burned. History-wise. History-wise. Um, anyway. Now get inside the common room, and find the black quill. How small are we? C can we see ourselves? C can we see ourselves? No! I would have loved to see... have seen like a miniature character of ourselves. Like... or even just the size of the... Oh, we should actually be smaller than the house elf else. That would have not been good. No. Anyway. Let's go in and find that black quill now, shall we? Oh, this looks cool. But slightly... Oh! This miniature us! How... Oh. <laughs> nice! <laughs> oh, this is... 
I oh my wish came true <laughs> seeing a minish growth loss. Anyway, it worked. I made it into the slithering common room. Am I underwater? No wonder they are always so gloomy. Yeah, that was about what I was all about to say before. I got so happy about seeing a little chippy size of us. Yay! It's like the lighting in in the Slytherin common room is very, very contrast to the Hufflepuff common room. It's just full of natural light. Here is it's just like this kind of um, gloominess, as our character says. But also slightly faint greenish light. But no fit in with the green color scheme, but still. I'd better cast the Engrochment Charm and find the Black Quill before anyone comes back. Yes, and we'll be small. <laughs> now we will be larger than, or taller, or something than Roven. Even though we can't actually compare sizes because he's standing outside. Like, I actually don't know how high, uh, how tall we are compared to Roven. So that's interesting. Oh, hello. Thank goodness that worked. Now to find the Black Quill. Okay. Oh, that's that's an energy one, isn't it? Oh, I just want to look around first. Like, we're not, probably not going to enter here again ever. So I'm just going to enjoy this for a second. Uh, that mirror looks very ominous in some way. It looks like it's frozen. Oh, this looks so cool. I like this. Like, I just like the effort and the sign, but that's maybe just me. I, I like the signs that that they are different. Like, it's not just, oh, it's that common room, oh, it's that common room. No, it's distinct, this room, that Slytherin. And this is so cool. It's so cool. Seriously. Okay, maybe I shouldn't stand in awe constantly uh, for hours on end. We should actually look for that quill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we will see if we can find some high energy points. I always have a look around here that's high energy. Can we actually look more around? No. Shh. <laughs> I'm still trying to look around while I'm enjoying this. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, our character is actually walking around. Oh, that's so cool! Like, go! <laughs> It's not cool that our character's walking around, but it's just, it seems so animated. Like, it, it's an animated game, but yeah, I, I know, but... It's more than they just look around. Like, just standing in the same position throughout the whole thing. It actually seems like our character is gonna walk around the room. Oh, I can't wait to see that. I've said before, uh, also in the last one, that I only played up until um, year two. So this, I don't know anything about. So this is such an incitement to do, especially because it's not necessary. I know much about all these things, but I'm gonna enjoy it. Oh look, yeah, she is lo walking around like a good little bright she is. I don't know. Anyway, how much energy do we have left? Nine. Ah, uh, that's not good. We can go and get some extra energy, maybe. Maybe we stuck in here? I don't quite know. However, we can do a quick look around more. And then we can try and see if we can leave to gather some extra energy points and then go back in here. Sounds fair. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Okay. So we do have a energy point in our dormitory room because our owl or owlet is sleeping. And, of course, there are all the other energy points around the castle, which we can also take. Um, just like always. Because uh, we need to do this. We need to go well. <laughs> it's interesting that there are some floors that only have one energy point, and then other floors <laughs> have two. Um, energy points. It's kind of intriguing. Uh, they didn't didn't just only have one per level. Like, if you if you guys catch my drift. Um. Yeah, we could also go take classes, but we have to finish off the first thing. Uh, the first thing first, 
That sounds stupid. Um, we have to finish off one thing before we can do other things because they're energy based and they will usually say, Oh, you have to finish this before you do the other things. And here are some books that fly along around by butterflies. Yes. There we go. Okie dokie. Now we have, is it 10 more points? Yes. That's a bit more to work with. Oh, we can sit down. Let's sit down in not our common room and wait for them to go around. No. Not at all. Oh, cool. Okay. So we are very close. Very close to our goal here. Um, but I don't think we have enough energy for it, though, unfortunately. No. So now we will just see which one was with the highest amount. It was the table? Okay. So we will open the disc and see if a quail would be in a disc. It would be kind of logical. It would be really logical if a quail was in... It's like a feather pen. Like... Duh. <laughs> Either that or it would be under like something. Uh, like a... A couch, which we apparently already looked, but now they wasn't where... No. No. No, they wasn't. Apparently not, at least. And with that, we hopefully found a black quill. Did we? Did we find it? I found a black quill. Hopefully it's the one that's mentioned in the note. I wish I could spend more time exploring the common room, but I better leave before I get caught. Yeah. Probably would be a good idea. Just one last look around, yes? Okay. I still like the paintings on the wall, though. It makes it, it... It's got... It's the same painting, though, but it makes it so vibrant in some way. Really interesting. Okay, let's leave before we get caught. No one caught us, right? No one's here. Okay? Good. Uh, no one is here. Good, 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 good. No one saw her mischievous little deed. So, we'll be ending off here, and until next time, guys, take care and have a fantastic day.